Okay, we are back for part two at the Giggle Room. We made the blue racer the first time. Now we're gonna make the bulldozer. So let's get started. It gives you instructions in the same book to start the, the bulldozer. And it goes step by step and shows you what you need to do to make the bulldozer. And then we end up like that. And then we can also start again and make a whole new racer. So let's get ready and we can see what we can make this time. Now we're back. Now we did the bulldozer and it was very easy. You just went through step by step. And basically what I did was I took apart the racer itself and started from the very beginning. So it shows the picture up at the top of what you're gonna make. So you're gonna make the bulldozer. So it tells you how to start step by step. So you take the racer apart completely and then you just easily follow the steps. And as you can see, it starts to come together and it's very, very simple. It doesn't take a lot at all. And when you're finished, this is what it looks like. And that's what ours looks like. Exactly the way it's supposed to. It even looks like it has little windows in there so that that's where the person that's operating the bulldozer goes. And then you set up your little pylons here and you can go and push them out of the way. Oh, just like that. So this is pretty cool. I love the fact that we can make three different vehicles with one set. So you can play for hours and hours and hours. And when you're all done with the bulldozer, you can also put his pylons on the top because he needs to have those when he's ready to go somewhere. He's not gonna leave them. And then you can put the other two maybe up on his roof like this. And then he has his pylons with him and he's all ready to go. And that way he can do all his bulldozing duties. But this is a pretty neat vehicle. So, so far we've made the racer and we made the bulldozer and now we're going to make the other race car. It's a smaller car, almost like a stock car from NASCAR. So we're going to do that next and then you'll be able to see the third and final vehicle and you guys at home can do them yourselves. So be, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I've stripped the car down because now we're going to make the third and final racer, which is the coolest one. So we're going to get ready. I kept the, the axle because that's what we need and you're not going to have to take the wheels off as it is. So you can just kind of keep this together and that way it saves you a little bit more time. And it also again shows us what it's going to look like and step by step how we put it all together. And it's very, very simple. These are very good. And it also shows you in the back a legend and this tells you all the pieces that you're supposed to have in your set. And here it shows you when you get all of the other creator sets, you can do a whole lot of fun things and make whole scenes with your imagination. So let's get started and we are going to make our last and final vehicle. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. This is the last of our racers and this is more of like an indie car and it's got wonderful colors. It's red, white, and blue, just like the American flag. And it's very cool. It's got the turbo boosters in the back. It's got the cool grill, the sports wheels, the grill in the front. And as you can see, it's got lights all over it to make sure that they see it coming because it is very cool. And you can see that it does work so you can race them, which is pretty neat. So if you take a look, Look at how cool that is. And we made three different vehicles with one Lego kit. So these are amazing. These are really good and they'll have hours and hours of entertainment, which is good for mom and dad. And you guys can do it because it's super easy with the instructions. So please come back and join us again at the Giggle Room and we hope you had a lot of fun making these creators with us. See you later kids, bye.